Insert less than, greater than, or equal to between the expressions in order to form a true statement. Now, it's not enough on, on any exams to just say, well, I know that um, uh, this one is, I don't know that this is correct, but if it were, I would still not be able to give you full credit because we need to see some work, okay? Now, when we're comparing fractions, so don't do that. Don't just put this as, as your answer. I mean, we do want an answer, but show some work. Uh, all we need here is common denominators, just like we would with addition and subtraction to see which one's bigger, right? So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to find the lowest common denominator, I suppose. I just don't care if it's the lowest common denominator. I'm going to use the same method I would use to find common denominators with addition and subtraction. Just take the denominator of one fraction and multiply it into the other one. So the 9 denominator, I would multiply by the 8 and 11. And again, this guarantees common denominators. It's a negative fraction. 11 times 9 is 99. 8 times 9 is 72. Okay, so that's 9, the denominator of the first fraction, times the other fraction. Now I take the 11 denominator, multiply it by the numerator and denominator of the first fraction. Still negative, but 7 times 11 is 77. And 11 times 9 is 99. So see that guaranteed the denominators to match. Uh, now, at this point, some students are like, hey, look, 77... I think I, I think I can do a better seven than that, though. Let's find out. That's a seven. There we go. Uh, 77 is bigger than 72, and they'll go straight to this action right here. No, please do not do that. Make sure you take a, bit, a better look at that. Uh, the problem there, they, these are negatives. So it's asking, would you want to have more negative or less negative? Yeah, you should want less negatives. Well, I guess I'm thinking in terms of money. So it actually is less than. It's not greater than on this one. Um, I guess I was right from the beginning, but I, I was just guessing. It was purely coincidental. So yes, less than would be correct. But again, we, we need to see you know something in here to show why it's less than, not just that it is less than.